Hello and welcome back to another video on my channel and today I am here with another uh, Yeah, let's build episode and today uh, just a random episode not really part of a series Maybe I will be doing a little bit more on this build um, this is basically very close to Lake Town and um, the story behind Lake Town is that um, it was built after the dragon destroyed the previous town which was on top of this cliff over here you can see some ruins that have been built there by my building team Biofrost but today I'm gonna be building a woodcutter um, yeah, just a little woodcutter's lodge here in the forest um, which is not gonna be destroyed as much as the other houses because it's yeah it's not part of the town basically it's a little bit further off you can see my oh, my beautiful wool paradise over there and um, little sneak peek phew, down there and yes, so let's start today with um, yeah, kind of thinking what kind of shape do we want for this house? Because I, I, I kind of want it to be a little bit more random um, than my usual houses. I'm, I'm I'm flying really fast, but that's just because yeah, nowadays I'm, I'm quite used to that speed. But sometimes when doing these smaller builds, that is not very useful at all um, okay so we have like a not a straight line on this side but I think that's quite cool to have that and yes I'm gonna try and do the same over here um, I have really not symmetrical walls on either side so that we have kind of this weird shape as a house and now the only thing that needs to be done is trying to get like this but this this can't work this doesn't work why doesn't that work okay because we need a pillar no what why does not why does it not work three 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 then we would have something like this. Well, I, I guess that can work. So we can still have it here, I guess. Let's just see it. Um, so I'm just first making pillars to kind of see what kind of shape we want to end up. And this is kind of a random shape. But I think I kind of like it. Um, so let's start with that first. Let's kind of add some... Yeah, more structure to the build kind of see how this is gonna turn out because if we continue this shape it will be one random house indeed um, and then here we have this so yes this is pretty random shape but that will be fun especially with the roof will be fun to do very much yeah we'll be enjoying that very much I guess um, so yeah, if we do this here, then maybe we could even have... Nah, let's just keep it like this. So, it's not too weird. It's not too weird. And we can do the same on this side, basically. So that's that's a good thing. And then especially the sides of the building, that's gonna be... That's gonna be a little bit more difficult, but we'll manage. We'll manage, guys. So, what I want is I want the entrance to be somewhere on this side. Um, I want to be able to store a little bit wood on the other side, so maybe a little uh, overhang over here. But it's not—it's going to be a little bit destroyed, but not because of the dragon, because the dragon didn't really focus on the wood, of course. But it still, yeah, will show some signs of destruction, um, because this place would probably be abandoned, or at least, or at least not regularly uh, visited, because now everyone lives in Lake Town. So they would have no need to actually come here. Um, what I'm gonna do though is I'm gonna take out these as well. And maybe even some cobblestone walls. Um, okay, so I want the entrance here. Which will mean that this one is gonna be quite simple. Just like this and like that. And that's gonna be the entrance. Then on uh, this side I do want a window because it's kind of looking to the path and to the people coming from the town so it would only make sense to kind of have a window there 
Um, so I kind of want to have this in there. So very basic still. Um, then I do want a chimney. Definitely want a chimney. So um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to make the chimney over here. So this is going to be basically my chimney. And then from here on out, we'll focus on that more when my when we wor work on the roof because that's when we yeah know more about it. And then now we gonna try and um, kind of do something like this. And then of course we can have something like like that and then over here we want to have this so that we can have these over there without there being any holes in the in the actual build which is good which is good so yes um what one do we want over here i think we just want a straight wall here so we just gonna pimp it a little bit um oh no by using these um, yes let's use them there and then like this and maybe like this we could even have a window here if we want maybe that would be good yes let's have a window there then on this side um, yeah we don't really want a window here because there's really no use to it so what we'll do is I guess is just make another random ending to it so that kind of the walls on the outside are not the same everywhere um, yeah I think that really adds a lot to the build so this house is really not going to be too complicated because it's just a simple style and it will be very familiar for some of you I hope um, only it's a little bit more random than previous houses I've built um, and I think here again I don't really want that but maybe Maybe we can just add something like this again, and then on the inside, of course, add these, and then these can go, because that leaves us with a little bit more room. And then on this side, yeah, well, I guess we can do something similar. Um, well, maybe we can do something new here, um, or at least a little bit new um, yes so let's take cobblestone so like this because it's a it's a little bit different it adds some detail to the build then on the corners I'm 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 just gonna use well maybe I should use this actually because it's a little bit different color yes let's use that so let's use those on the end so that it looks kind of supported and then the only thing that's oh no not over there and then the only thing that's really gonna be um, damaged here is gonna be kind of like the roof the the house is still gonna be intact it's just really gonna um, I'm flying really fast maybe I should fix that a little bit so let me just fix that so there we go fixed. I'm back and I'm not as fast anymore so that we can focus more on building so this is just gonna be made of wood and for the time being we're just gonna fill this in because of course we want windows over there and then I'm thinking that I actually want a window here as well so that might make the roof even a little bit harder but yes I kind of want the roof um, yeah a roof going this way as well so three ways and then on the back it's uh, just gonna have a little overhang into yeah into that little workplace so um, let's see what do we want at first we do want to add some glass panes everywhere that we yeah we kind of need them on certain places well we need them here as well and I think those were all the windows that I have at the moment I'm not gonna add the door in yet just because we have no floor yet and oh we want windows here as well okay well then let's clear out everything and let's take out everything we need for spruce because that's gonna be the main material of 
the roof and then we're gonna take stone bricks for the rest of it so it's a little bit different from Lake Town which uses um, stone cobblestone for most of the um, yeah most of the roof and we're just gonna start out by basically yeah getting a sense of what is the roof actually gonna be looking like um, well we could actually have this but we can also just have this maybe that's better and then we have this here and then we have this of course oh there we go then this mm, yeah well we might actually do that like this again um, and this we do want this over here and then probably we want this and there we go over there yes there we go so basically by doing this outline we kind of know what the borders of the roof will be looking like and then we can focus only on the on the insides basically because um, yeah for some people it's hard I myself have been doing a little bit more of it lately so the more you do it the easier it gets to so basically if you want to get better at roofs just build a building which has quite a complicated roof and then try to make the roof for it so just like I did on this house a really random uh, foundation will yeah we'll make sure that you really have to add a random roof to it and that will train your skills in in roofing <laughs> if that's a word um, so yes, this is just gonna be like this, so it's gonna be hanging a little bit down on this side and of course we're gonna have that extra overlay maybe on the back. Then we do have also this chimney over here, which I think is gonna be quite cool because I do kind of want to randomize that as well a little bit. So that's just kind of gonna go up like, like this maybe and <coughs> then it's just gonna have like this on top of it and then it's time to start filling in the roof I guess um, as well for the end pieces I don't really know what I want here maybe just something simple like this um, let's see if there's any endings no of course not all ruins so well We'll just go for a very simple one then. I guess we can do this. It's not very complicated. So we'll just go for this and then um, the tricky part is where do you start with the roof? Well, the fun fact is it doesn't really matter. You just have to start somewhere. Start working from there and yeah, just kind of see where, where that takes you. So... Um, yeah, you will notice that it is not like you usually do a roof where it's just one straight line everywhere. Um, there's more between it, in usually in this in this kind of style, which I think is only a good thing. Um, but I do think that over here it is not that bad because you can still have this going around like a corner, and that would still work. But the question is do we actually want that or do we just want it to be a little bit different because I think that we can make it more interesting by making it more random so if we do like this and then we do something like this wouldn't that make it look a lot more interesting than it did before so that's basically my new strategy instead of just going for the easy way and the way that you would normally do it don't don't just don't do it go for the random way the random way is fun and usually it looks pretty good as well 
so yes, so far this turns out quite well. Um, then, yes, let's focus on this side as well so that we have the the one side of this house basically completely done. Um, yes, so we're just going to add this over here. Um, this, of course, is, is going to be the basic, but then we're going to change it around a little bit, I guess. Um, because we're just going to go for this and that's going to be there. Um, so yes, like this. That's going to be like... Like maybe it's like this. And then we go over here like, like this I guess. So then we can go over here like Yes, I think I think this will actually work. So then we have quite a random looking roof on the front, which yeah, only kind of strengthens this build. Um which is usually good. And let's just kind of go for this so that's a little bit higher over there. And then we only need to do the back of the roof which is not gonna be that hard now we have the actual outline because it's basically just follow it just follow it and just place some blocks see how it looks and then just go from there so here we do want this and then we want a layer like this and here we don't want we want this so kind of have something going like yeah, it's like it's going up and down a little bit, and uh, so it, um, this makes the roof look like it's actually not, um, yeah, not so flat, not so boring, which usually, yeah, only strengthens the the entire build build actually. So this is the same again. So we have a very random roof over here. Um, we can actually just go and do this. Um, well, I do think that we want to continue this a little bit further. So on this side, we're just going to go for this. And then we're going to place this. And yeah, we can actually just place two of them here. And then over this. Then let's focus on this side a little bit more. Because it's really just connecting the dots. And when you start connecting them, you you kind of just filling the gaps in order to yeah, to make everything look good. And yeah, when you do that, in the end everything kind of comes together. And yes, so we would do something like this over here. So actually raise this a little bit. Now I can have this a little bit lower. Then have these there, that one over here. And yes, we can ha strengthen this a little bit. Well, we can use this. So if we use this, well, you get a pretty random roof, but it still looks good. And I think it looks better than the, yeah, than the everyday roof you see. While, yeah, well, basically making it by, being made by everyone. And this is a little bit different, and it adds a lot of, yeah, character to your build. And that's just something that you need, especially if you're trying to come up with an awesome town or an awesome uh, yeah something for an awesome cereal or anything well if we fill this in then the house is basically done from the outside and I'm not gonna do the inside on this video um, and I think if you have this and you would want it to make it look like it's uh, it's been abandoned I'm not really gonna destroy it I may be just making some 
some holes into it um, but more like like holes like this so it looks like it's just a bit old and the, the wood started to rot a little bit so that's basically the only thing that I want to do for this house because it's it's not actually really damaged by the dragon more it's damaged by age and yeah just not being probably properly um, repaired because most of the people now are just living in Lake Town and maybe once or twice a year someone comes down here maybe just this is maybe just a holiday spot that they come to maybe to pay their respects to whoever they lost in the town and then maybe collect some wood here because that's still possible um, of course important things are just place a, l a couple of logs that are cut down maybe even a tree that has fallen down a supply on the back I'm not gonna do that maybe I'll make another video about this build and finishing up a little bit more little details um, because that's very important as well and we can do the interior on that as well so uh, yeah let me know if you want to see that and next that's build will either be um, something in Lake Town, something in the Northern Savages or me continuing on this build if you want that. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to leave a rating. So please press the button with the thumb, the blue thumb going up and subscribe if you haven't already. And of course, feel free to leave any comments to um, say what I can do. And then next episode will probably be me just a little bit more adding more details and adding more stuff around this build. So hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.